here to express the importance of Black History Month. Black History Matter because our stories get told and our stories need to be known. Black History started as Negro Week in 1926 by Dr. Carter G. Woodson, who we call the father of black history. And then it expanded to a month in 1976. But we celebrate black history every day. We celebrate black history every day because black history is a part of this nation. And black history should be a part of the school curriculum. Uh, Harlem and Renaissance is a, plays a big part in, in our history, where we had the poetry, we had artists, we had the dancing, we had the blues and jazz, and I love blues and jazz. And I just want to congratulate all the uh, students that participated in this uh, Black History uh, essay contest. A big congratulations to Nora L. House, a second grader, for winning the Black History Month Renaissance Style Contest this year. I can't wait for everyone to see her artwork. Hi, my name is Nora Althouse, and I've been taking art lessons for three years with a famous artist named Nancy Ostrowski and I did an art project about the Harlem Renaissance. I want to show you my project. Hello, I just want to congratulate Hannah Horrell, 8th grade student at Ellenville Middle School. She was the winner this year out of the middle school for the Black History Month contest. And on behalf of myself and the faculty and staff, Hannah, congratulations. Great job. Your artwork was beautiful. Hi, my name is Hannah Horrell. I am in 8th grade and I love to paint and draw. That's why I wanted to participate in this contest. I was inspired by Louis Malou Jones. Jones was a painter and a teacher. She was known for a wild variety of styles from landscapes to African themed abstract art. I was inspired by her abstract and colorful artwork. This is what my artwork represents. Anna Graham just wanted to congratulate you on being one of the winners on the Harlem Renaissance Entry Project. Congratulations, and I'm looking forward to hearing you recite your poem. Today, I will be reading The Renaissance of Us by Hannah Graham. The Harlem Renaissance was a period of time when history was made. It started with a group of African Americans wanting to change. But who knew that it started a trailblaze for many other people of African descent? From writers who wrote every single word in their book to musicians who sang a song with an uplifting hook. These trailblazers inspired other African Americans to be proud from where they come from and to embrace who they will become. Musicians, novelists, poets, and designers. 
activists, leaders, composers, and writers like Langston Hughes, Duke Ellington, and Lee Smith. They were huge influencers that helped with creating songs, poems, and literature. In order to help capture that you can do anything any other person can do, no matter the skin color. But today, many people do say that the Harlem Renaissance period is gone. But in my opinion, I think that they're wrong. As you can see today, that it is still alive and well. Many African Americans today write books, sing songs, and have more to tell people that they can do it and that they are strong. They're embracing their color and still proving people wrong. They're fighting for justice and peace and constantly fighting for equality. Just like the Harlem Renaissance did, we too are following the many actions of the people who came before us. Hey, Black Chow, do you know who you are? Who you really are? Do you know you can be where you want to be? If you try to be what you can be. Hey, Black Chow, do you know where you're going? Where you're really going? Do you know you can learn what you want to learn? If you try to learn what you can learn. Hey, Black Chow, do you know you are strong? I mean, really strong. Do you know you can do what you want to do? If you try to do what you can do. Hey, Black Chow, be what you can be. Learn what you must learn. Do what you can do. And tomorrow, your nation will be what you want it to be. Yeah. Oh, <laughs>